I'm fifth generation, so five generations ago, our forefathers came over from Denmark in 1870 in the Salinas Valley. We started farming this actual ranch. Every generation, we've kept it in the family. We're not a huge ranch, but we've managed to keep it together for that long. I feel like this is part of me. It's, and I guess I always knew it on a certain level, but I couldn't imagine not doing this. It's definitely in my blood. I, I'm out here and I just feel natural out here. I wake up and do what I do. And I don't think much about it. People say, wow, it must be so peaceful and beautiful. And I, I don't feel like it's peaceful out here. I think sometimes we feel like we're controlling the ranch and farming it, working it. But actually, it just dawned on me the other day, I think the ranch is actually controlling us. What we do, how we live. I feel like my life is stable when the ranch is stable. When all hell breaks loose, you know, it, it's not good. <laughs> yeah, things could go bad quickly out here. It's, it's not romantic, I think, the way some people think farming is romantic. It's, it's work and it's, it's his job and he's never really away from it as long as he's here. Sometimes I get a little bit insecure about what's going on out here, so I just do my daily scheduling, which involves me driving around the ranch, and I, I look at every single crop. Uh, the ranch is divided up into basically 64 plantings, 10-acre plantings, and I, I just check every single crop. It takes a couple hours, and by the time I'm done doing that, my mood is just like lifted. It's like. I feel better. He's, he's really grown as a farmer. It's been pretty amazing. We've got 20 guys out here. It's a great group of people. They all know their roles and do their jobs expertly. It's like an orchestra. There's only 20 of us, and we're able to produce millions of eight ounce servings of vegetables on a weekly basis. And that right there is enough to make me want to farm for as long as I can. It's fulfilling. This ranch, your ranch, has been in production for over 100 years. Yes. So in order for you to be farming in the same piece of ground for over 100 years, it takes what? It takes a perfect crop rotation and that's what we have here. What does a crop rotation do for the soil? So, for example, we have broccoli, and we follow the broccoli with romaine lettuce. Uh, the reason we do it in that order is because the broccoli, as it breaks down, it acts as a natural fumigant for the romaine lettuce, the following crop, and then we follow that with the spinach, and it just goes around. If we were just to grow nothing but spinach out here, we'd only you know, make it like three years down the road, the whole ranch would be farmed out. We want to be sustainable. Yes, and a hundred yeah. years, I mean, you're doing something right to be able to do that from, for a hundred years. Right. And moving forward, you know, that's, that's, right, yeah. that's incredible. My goal is to keep it together and 
preserve the land, to keep the situation going for as long as I can. Giving up or stopping or quitting is not an option. I mean, this is what we do, we farm. So this field and 20 guys on a weekly basis produce eight ounces of vegetables for a million people. Assuming we're doing, cutting 20 acres of spinach per week, which we are. <laughs> so correct, so a million correct. people in a hall, yeah. they're being served on a weekly basis, eight ounces of spinach. Yes. That's, that's, that's a good crew. Yeah. <laughs> they know what they're doing. <laughs> it's a beautiful field. Thank you. This farm is located in the Salinas Valley here, and the Salinas Valley opens up into the Monterey Bay. And in the wintertime, when farming's slow, that's when the waves are at their best. I love to surf. These things that I feel like if I don't do, I'll go crazy. <laughs> so they, they actually keep me sane. I think about the lineage of the previous people out here, my father and his father and his father and his father. And I, I do think about them a lot and what would they think about what's going on right now out here? It just it'd blow their minds, you know? You know, this was pasture and it just has evolved into this crazy ranch.